Hi everyone, it's Connie here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. I have been gone for a few weeks and that's because I have given birth to our son David Joshua Yom. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or you're friends with me on Facebook, you will have seen some photos already. Um, but I thought this was a good time to get the camera ready, get my husband, he's home with me <laughs> for the next few weeks. And David is chill right now and it's, um, it's a, just a good time to shoot our, I guess this is going to be our labor and delivery story. Yes. So, um, gosh. Where do you start, right? I don't even know where to start because I, I didn't even make a 39 week um, video because it was just so hectic at that time. And, um, but let me just quickly tell you what I was going through in my 39th week. I was just experiencing a lot of Braxton Hicks. Um, I was feeling just nauseous and super heavy, um, really big. My stomach was just, oh, I was just so ready to give birth and to meet my baby and to not be pregnant anymore. And I was just kind of, I was really just having a hard time, you know, right? Yeah. I was kind of complaining a lot and going. It was getting tough at the end, yeah. Yeah. You're like, I want him out right yeah. now. <laughs> I know. I was like, I want him out. And he was moving a lot. Yeah. And, and one thing of the 39th week is that you're always thinking like, when is it going to happen? Like, when is it going to happen? And you know, when am I going to start feeling contractions and stuff like that? Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? He knows we're talking about him. I know. Um, I'm talking about you, little guy. Yeah, so I, the 39th week was just really rough, and also with the, him being breech and, mm -hmm. you know, um, us, like, not going through with the ECV procedure, which would, you know, the doctors would manually mm -hmm. turn him. I just wasn't ready for that, and I wasn't ready to just go into emergency C-section because I was just clinging on to the hope that I would give birth vaginally, and I was like, you know what? John and I decided, let's just wait until I go into labor naturally and we right. will just pray and hope that he turns as I'm laboring. Mm -hmm. But then um, we got a new doctor because Kaiser, it was it's just really hard to have the same doctor for, for mm -hmm. whatever reason. So we got a new doctor and we really liked her and she was like, you know, we don't recommend that you go into, you know, wait until labor you know, for the baby to turn because it's very, very unlikely that he will turn on his own. Right, that late in, that, that, yeah. that late in the pregnancy. That late in the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. She was like, you know, it's probably better just to, oh, the sun went down. Now it's all jacked up. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, the sun went down. No, wait. I mean, um, <laughs> no, okay, pregnancy. I'm not even pregnant, but I have pregnancy brain. Yeah. Um, no, so she said, why don't you schedule a C-section? Um, she said, why don't you schedule a C-section because it's safer that way. You won't be stressed out about laboring and then having to go into an emergency C-section where it's, you know, kind of hectic. And this way, if you schedule it, then you can kind of know when you're going to do it and stuff like that. And, and John and I, we really liked that idea. We were just like, you know what, that sounds like the right thing to do. And we, we, will, we really like that doctor, that particular yeah. doctor who we saw. Yeah. And we felt comfortable with her. And she said that that particular, that coming Sunday, she was available. So we did schedule it for that Sunday. Yeah. For a day before your due date. Oh, right? yeah. Because yeah. my due date was December 28th. Right. And um, we scheduled the C-section for December 27th. Right. So now. then, and then I was like, kind of like sad because I was like, oh, I thought I was going to be like cheated out of having a, like a labor experience and a real birth experience and vaginal birth. And I was kind of mourning that, you know, I'm um, going, gosh, I really wanted that experience. And then I got my wish. <laughs> it actually came true because I went into labor, um, right. pretty much. Okay. So I lost my mucus plug. I got the bloody show thing. Um, the on day before, so Saturday. Yeah, so it was the December 26th. It was the day after Christmas. Right. And I was already <laughs> feeling some kind of Braxton Hicks contractions and just, I, I guess I was starting to go into labor. Um, mm -hmm. and, and so then um, on the 27th, so in the wee hours of the morning, actually on the 26th at 11 p.m., I started feeling more regular contractions and then mm. the next it spilled over into the next day which was the 27th like wee hours of the morning the contractions were getting faster and, I mean closer together mm. and stronger and I couldn't sleep I, I just could not sleep so John was in the room sleeping and I was out in the living room just kind of walking around and like 
just kind of bracing myself a little bit when they would come on. Um, and then, um, so we, and then I woke John up and I was like, you know what, this is getting really intense. So um, on the 27th, like 2 a.m., John and I headed over to the hospital. And um, it turns out that I was contracting and it, they were like five minutes apart, then four minutes apart. And um, the OB on call was a doctor that I had never met before. And remember, I had scheduled a C-section for that morning at like 9.30 or something. And of course, um, the OB on call was like, you know what? You can't wait until 9.30 for your scheduled C-section. You're gonna have to have this C-section earlier and I'm gonna be the one doing it. And so we're like, are you sure? We can't wait for Dr. You know, who, so-and-so because we scheduled with her and, and he's like, no, I don't recommend that. Um, and so then um, as the hours passed by, I was really feeling the contractions. Like, I mean, they hurt. Um, so you, throughout the night from yeah. about 2.30 in the morning to about 6, yeah. you got a taste of what, what oh, labor is like. Yeah. So then the doctor was like, okay, we're going to prep you at 6 a.m. And I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this because I'm in a lot of pain. Um, so anyway, then we get onto the operating table and they're prepping me. And uh, <laughs> this is the funny part. I feel like this weird sensation, like a pop sensation right after they gave me the spinal block. So the spinal block didn't completely kick in yet. And I felt my water breaking. And I didn't know it was my water breaking until the nurse was like, oh, her water broke. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's meconium in there and everything. And I guess if there's meconium in there, like in the amniotic fluid and your, um, when your water breaks, then that means like the baby's in distress or something like that. Mm -hmm. So in a way it was, it kind of the, freaked you out. It kind of freaked me out, but it was like the right time because I was getting prepped for the C-section right on the operating <laughs> so table. Talk about perfect timing. Yeah, the yeah. timing was impeccable. You were completely ripe for birth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and even when I got the bloody show um, on the 26th, the day before, I was like, Boo, I lost my mucus plug and um, I don't know when I'm going to go into labor mm -hmm. because women say they can lose their mucus plug and still go into labor like a week later. It could be hours later, days later, or even weeks later. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, maybe he'll be late. I don't know. I had no idea when I was going to go into labor. <laughs> they say that first-time moms, you know, they give birth like two weeks after they, after their due date, you know. So I had I didn't know I was going to go into labor. So I, I did, and then um, then I was going to do the C-section with a doctor that I'd never met before, and um, what else? So then they did the. They were prepping me, and my water broke, and then John came in. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to... Uh, it was so hard to see you there with the curtain up and everything, and I was like, okay, well, the nurse did say they could get the baby out within five minutes of starting yeah. the procedure, so I just kept... We, we, our heads were together mm -hmm. um, behind the curtain, and yeah. I just kept saying, mm -hmm. you know, just hang in there for five minutes, five mm -hmm. minutes. And sure enough, it was, it was really short, and then we heard, like, ah! We yeah. just had like a whimper, like yeah. Oh. Yeah. we looked at each other going, oh my is gosh, that is him? that him? Yeah. And then it was kind of quiet for a little while. Yeah. I think they were watching, you know, scrubbing yeah. him down or something. And then all of a sudden he started crying. And then I went behind the curtain to see yeah. the baby. And he was just so precious. I mean, yeah. this guy. And his leg, one of his legs was like way up here. <laughs> yeah, because he was breached. Because he was breached. Yeah. And I was worried about him having like hip yeah. issues. Um, but they say that even if he did have some sort of hip issue, they could like put a brace on him to fix that. Mm -hmm. But then it ended up that he didn't need a brace and they just could bring his leg down and um, right. the doctors were checking him, you know, after the birth, you know, his hips, you know, periodically. Mm -hmm. And he was just fine. Yeah. Like he was like oh. the picture of health. I was so just thankful that there were no issues, mm -hmm. you know, after the birth. That that was another one of my fears was like, oh, what if he has some sort of issue and, mm -hmm. you know, he has to go to the NICU for a few weeks or a few days or whatever and we can't take him home, you know, so that's another thing. And then also his mm -hmm. hip thing with being him being breached, I was so worried about that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it ended up that he was just perfectly fine. He's so healthy. I he's know, such a no, precious, strong little boy. <laughs> Um, I can't really see him. Right? I know. 
Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show some photos. Yeah. So wow. that was pretty much it. Wow, yeah. you did that quickly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want this to be yeah. a long video. Yeah. So I wanted to just kind of get through that really quick. But, mm -hmm. you know, what I learned was I really wanted that vaginal birth, you know, but mm -hmm. I just learned that if that's not the way it's going to go, you know, and this is the way it's supposed to happen, then I have to just surrender my own kind of desires and wants. And yeah. as long as, you know, he came out healthy, that's yes. really all that matters. And, you know, because I'm really squeamish. Um, oh, I, I'm, I'm even more squeamish. Ugh, like, just the idea of being cut open and stuff. And yeah. I know they do C-sections all day long. And it's just such a simple procedure for them. But still, you know, you're... You're getting cut open, you know, I your know. stomach, your uterus is getting cut open. I and, have to hold it together. Yeah, and yeah. during the C-section, you feel all this, like, weird tugging and pulling, and your body's, like, jerking around, and oh. but you don't feel pain. It's just really weird, though, mm -hmm. you know, and um, it, it's such a surreal experience to, you know, have that surgery and stuff. Can't believe it. We're, yeah. we're done. We're on the other oh side of that. Oh my god, we're done! It's a happy new year! <laughs> By We're the way, so happy, happy New Year. Yeah, happy New to Year everybody. to everybody. We hope your joy is as great as ours. Yes, and thank you guys so much for yeah. following me on this pregnancy journey. So some of you guys have been with me since my, since the beginning of this journey. Um, even before my positive pregnancy test and my pregnancy announcement video, you guys were following me when I was TTC trying to conceive. Like <laughs> That was like two years ago. Oh man, you know? what a journey. And... And now you know, we see the fruit of Yeah, the and a lot of you guys, I, I follow also some YouTubers um, and, you know, have some of you guys on my Facebook and everything. And it's so awesome to see that we, you know, were able to conceive and mm. get our miracle babies. And, you know, it's just so awesome. And ah, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, you Guys, know, John, yeah. John and I didn't know that parenthood would be this fulfilling and rewarding mm. and um, it's so awesome to see John you know mm. kind of go into that role of being a father and just loving to take care of him <laughs> and oh he's so precious I, I it's just automatic it's, I'm not even thinking about it yeah. it's just automatic this guy's yeah. so precious so, so happy. happy new year guys and I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions at all any questions about the C-section or anything, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I do want to make a few more videos, um, things I want to share with you, uh, breastfeeding, um, mm -hmm. some baby items, um, I, I don't know, just some other stuff that I want to share with you. That Things that you're learning as a Yeah, learn. yeah. yeah, so mm -hmm. I hope you guys will continue to watch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet, yeah. it's just begun. I right? know, it's like once you have the baby, it's like, ah, oh, who it's cares? A, a whole, <laughs> no. She had her baby now. And, now it's know. a new phase, yeah. new things to learn, Yeah. new things to experience. So, Boo, why don't you hold him up yeah. in a way so that they can see him? Like that? Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah. <laughs> He's just chilling right now. He's happy and content. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut it here and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Bye. See you.